Hi guys, welcome to another short video of Marine Technical Training Academy. Today we are going to learn the difference between switches and sensors. This, uh, this is a short part of a long video where I explain the procedure to create uh, the harness of a, an inboard gasoline or diesel engine. If you want to get the full video, this is the link. Try to get the video. This is the full video I create the harness completely. Today we are going to talk about that short portion of that video, the difference between switches and sensors. Now we are going to install in this harness the oil pressure switch and the coolant temperature switch. Be careful my friends. In this corner right now you have the picture of the oil pressure switch. The oil pressure switch is, is a normally closed switch. When the temperature of the coolant is below 180, the contacts A and B stay closed. When the temperature of the coolant pass the limit, the contacts of the, of the, of the switch open and the engine stop. This is this is the coolant temperature switch. The oil pressure switch is similar. The oil pressure switch is that one. That switch is a normally closed switch. The contacts internally open only when the oil pressure decreases below the limit. Each manufacturer have a different limit. When the oil pressure internally decreases the limit, the contacts in this switch open and the engine stop. Ah, okay, those are coolant temperature switch and oil pressure switch. Be careful because some people confuse the oil pressure switch with the oil pressure sensor. And the people confuse the coolant temperature switch with the coolant temperature sensor. They are different. And we are going to use both of them in this diagram today. The switch, the switch is used to interrupt the purple cable and stop the engine. The switch is a switch. It's a normally closed switch that only open in emergency. When? When the temperature pass the limit or when the oil pressure decrease the limit. Both switches. Those are the switches to kill the engine, to stop. The sensors, the oil pressure sensor, where is located the oil pressure sensor? Yes, in the bracket where the oil filter is located. In the bracket where the oil filter is located, is, this is a point where the oil pressure is maximum. In that point, you have one terminal. In that terminal, you can install the sensor you can install the sensor. And in other terminal of that bracket, you install the switch. You install the oil pressure switch and the oil pressure sensor in the same bracket. Where? Where the oil filter is bolted. In that bracket, you have oil pressure switch and oil pressure sensor. The oil pressure switch is used to kill the engine. And the oil pressure sensor send the signal for the gauge, for the oil pressure gauge, and send the signal to the computer if the engine is electronic. The sensor, the sensor send the signal through the sender and activate the gauge or instrument. The sensor is to send signal for gauge or computer, and the switch is to kill. This is oil in temperature. In temperature, we have coolant temperature switch and coolant temperature sensor. Where are located those switch and sensor? Both of them are located in the thermostat housing. The thermostat housing that you have in the screen right now is a typical thermostat housing with two holes. One hole for the coolant temperature uh, switch and other hole for the coolant temperature sensor. Once again, the coolant temperature switch is used to stop the engine, to interrupt the purple cable. And the coolant temperature sensor have two functions. 
one function is send a signal for the, the, the temperature gauge and other, other cable is the signal for the computer, enter in, into the computer. The sensor is used to activate or send signals to the computer and send signal to the gauge. And the switch is used to kill the engine. Ready. Now we are ready to install. In this moment the engine is running and uh, we need to install the oil pressure switch and the coolant temperature switch. Where is located the oil pressure switch? On the bracket where the oil filter is located. Where is located the coolant temperature switch? On the thermostat housing. Okay, we are going to install both of those switches here. This is the purple cable to keep the engine running. Fuel transfer pump and a solenoid fuel injection pump. Okay, I am going to install my oil pressure, my oil pressure switch here. And I am going to install my coolant temperature switch here. Both of them, this is coolant switch, coolant temperature switch, and this is oil pressure switch. Both of them are in series, in series with the purple cable. Okay, this is the procedure to install the switch. Remember, in order to send the signal to the gauge, we are going to use the sensors. This is the temperature sensor. Where is located? On the thermostat housing. Okay, and this is the oil pressure oil pressure sensor. All right, the oil pressure sensor normally, normally is bolted on the bracket where the oil filter is located. And normally the oil pressure sensor have a two terminals, one terminal for ground and the other terminal to send the signal for the gauge.